Okay, so hello and welcome back to Gumadi's Coins and Banknotes. And well, today's video is a re recording because uh, I am using OBS, also microphone, and basically it didn't record sounds or it did have sound initially, but it's not on there now. But we're talking about scammers, so uh, this is actually bad for the hobby. And I do have a, I'm trying to sell coins. So I've set up a website. Uh, but I want to change this to, uh, probably not Australian coins. Uh, one side Australian, because it's Australian, I mean Australian. Uh, but also, probably international coins. It's just got United States coins on there at the moment. Just general circulating coinage. The, uh clad coins that they call them uh canadian one dollar coin got quite a few uh, actually quite a nice coin and i like these whole coins from these are british west africa on not east africa should i say it's a 10 cent coin because these were used in uh somalia kenya Uganda, Tanzania, and they're a decimal coinage. Okay, so, oh, sorry about that. So we are basically talking about scam content pretty much. And I don't really want to to add so we have very uh some bad channels that are actually on youtube and i see a lot of them come from countries like india pakistan uh, the philippines seems to be a lot better but this one here okay so he was Talking that this coin was worth worth about thirty six thousand dollars, and if you collect Australian coins, you notice that this coin is actually worth fifty cents in this condition. I don't see any of the robe cuts or even the doubling that sometimes occurs on this guy. Uh, that's probably just died deterioration, but. Oh, chill up. So, this channel is pretty much giving out the information. And also, look how many subscribers. It, see, ultra rare penny. So, it just pretty much shows pictures of coin. And it's all AI generated uh, t talking. So, you can see he has. Quite a lot of coins. Do not spend this. So all his information is incorrect. And look, this is all clickbait. So it's got just a 1995 coin and 1994 VG coin. Yeah, it's probably worth about 50 cents to a dollar. But this is why some people, when they come into a coin shop they watch these videos and they think the coins worth this much so there is another channel called coin help you he does uh, videos about this topic all the time and it, it it seems to be just getting worse and worse so if we so that was a 2005 so here we are ebay 2005 50 cent coin. Okay, so what can we find? Some are for sale. 50 cents, two dollars. So these are ones for sale. What's the highest? Oh, this is going to be very funny. So it should get some in the. Oh my god, look at this. 
These are fake sales. Some people say it's for uh, money laundering. Uh, and sometimes they are just people that have probably seen, you know, these videos. Oh, I'll get rid of my mug first. Okay, so they've seen these videos. And or seen a website or something like that. And they just think the coin's worth that much. But it's not. And as you can see, these are all pretty much just fake values. Uh, the coin is worth, okay, sold items, completed items. Okay, this seems to be, a, yeah, so I've still got an highest. And as you can see, these are probably just rolls of the same coin, but I don't know. I didn't think they actually uh Let's have a look. No, it's just a roll. I'm not too sure if it's all the same coin. No, you're talking about ten dollars values, so eighty dollars. So I'm not too sure. I'm not talking about these commemorative ones, which I'm not surprised they go for sixty dollars. Oh, a little bit tired. It is uh, eight fifty-five. It's nearly my bedtime. And then you got the proof coin. Yeah, not surprised these are actually high value because the proof set is expensive in the first place. Okay, but if we go down to lower value, you can see two dollars, three dollars. So this is what you should be paying for one of these coins. These are probably just computer generated images. Uh, Five dollars of postage. Yeah, so this is more reflect reflective of the value. And this one is a looks like a nose cut. So I'm surprised that went for three dollars. I should actually go for more. And as you can see, this one says circulated. But I would say it's almost uncirculated in that condition. So basically, uh, what these channels are doing is they're given false information. People get these coins and think that they're worth that much. Go to a coin shop or they go to someone who, who knows coins. And they go, oh, you can buy this off me for that price. And they go, oh, it's not worth that price. It's worth, you think it's worth a thousand dollars i'll give you 60 cents for the 50 cent coin because that's all it's worth here is another tongan coin 81 yeah you can pick those up for two bucks okay so that's that guy then we have coin collecting and detecting he's an australian uh, youtuber i've got no problem with his channel some he gives prices in the price range so he doesn't actually say if it's very fine, extremely fine. Just what they've sold on eBay. Uh, DC Coin News. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. yeah it's okay, so this guy is from the United States. And they have quite a lot of views. Okay, so all these are clickbait. So, this has the potential to be misinformed. Yeah, see, 50 cent coins. These are not really high value. How about this one? Yeah, nah, 2001, not a high value. It's just got general circulating this swedish coin that swedish coin is not really worth that much okay so this one does look like it's also giving out false information so i will take these with a pretty much an ocean of salt with my channel i would also be skeptical about the prices that i say you can go and look for them yourself if uh you think it's incorrect then you can actually write a comment about it down below okay valuable coins i have a feeling that's going to be same like 39 million dollars 
And this one is looks like coin all world. See, so these are the bullshit channels. Really, a clickbaity. Uh, Couch Collectibles. He's from the United States. He just um really just talks about coins that have actually sold. Usually, sometimes on eBay. Um, but he knows what he's talking about. So he knows that this one looks like it has a a, a die crack going through it. Yeah, and also he does comment about coins that have sold at coin uh, companies. So they're called auction houses. Okay, so I've got no problem with him. Usually the coin collectors from the United States, the UK, most of Australia. Uh, I think there's a few from Canada. I haven't seen any from New Zealand. I'm talking about the English-speaking countries. Uh, generally, those ones I don't have a problem with. Uh, they know what they're talking about. And for the most part, they're trying to be honest because they do have a reputation that they need to keep. And that's why we live in high-trust societies. So high-trust societies where we generally have a... Um, oh, I hope that did record. Generally, we have a trust in a, a company or something like that, people. And then later on, if they're dishonest, we lose the trust. But in low trust societies, they just wouldn't trust in the first place. You'd have to earn the trust anyway. So that's a different. You can look up low trust, high trust societies. Okay, and new videos to inspire you. These don't inspire me. Maybe that one does. Um, these ones just really, they, they make me sad. That, that's the whole point. So if you go down to the comments, blah, blah, blah. See, I looked it up. It's worth $2.50, not 36000 You have no idea. Okay. 82,000 followers, and I don't know how. This was the biggest load of shit I've ever heard, and you don't have a clue about what these are worth. So 82,000 followers are most likely people from third world countries, poor countries, and, well, obviously, even if you live in those countries, you can get coins because you've got people to come here and work and go back. Uh... And these people are probably desperate for money, so they want to sell their coins, and they want to know how much the coin is worth. So that's probably why they're following. And they're probably also gullible. So look at this and go, oh, yeah, that's what it is. So, and then sooner or later, they're going to get taken for a ride. Okay, your miles are made. Your prices are miles from the truth and the value of heaps of these coins. And I will sell you for half your value, and I will still make mega dollars. We are now millionaires. See you at the pub. Definitely Australian. Mate, you're dreaming. Watch your video. Uh, blah, blah. May I help me, please? Obviously, he doesn't know anything about coins. Uh, okay. So, there's a lot of, a lot of rubbish. These 2001 on eBay, $5,000. <laughs> yeah, so, obviously you got people that are commenting that have no idea about coins and they're asking for help. And you have other people who know about coins and know that this is all crap. Uh, here we go. Owen Davies, I've seen you around before. Uh, go eBay, folks. These people here with crazy prices, the real crazy prices, the insane price, and then there are a few of above normal prices and normal price. Yeah. So, the above normal price is probably, you need, the coin needs to be exceptional, but these are just insane prices for all the same coins. So, this is, can be purchased for $3 or $30, or 3000 or 30000 your choice. You want to get defrauded, you pay that money. You want a good coin, you pay that much. Okay. What a load of rubbish. Millions of dollars for an Aussie 50 cent. <laughs> that is very common. 
Then you've got people that probably... I'm surprised I haven't found, seen any in Hindi. Okay, so there's that one. And... Maybe click on that, see the comments on that coin. Yeah, see, they've all got... All got as... No, it's not going to pause yet. For some reason, this is just... There you go. So... Like it's just got a bunch of standard coins. That one's really not worth keeping. And yeah, he doesn't have too much comments. Uh, probably from people who know nothing about coins. Okay. Uh, you should watch this channel. Leafo if you're in Australia, to know what's happening in Australia. So basically, you just need to watch out of uh, uh, what are videos are going on. Okay, so Rare Coin Vault. So pretty much these are just people. All they do is, this is the common theme. All they do is just hold the coin spin it around a few times there's some ai generated content on the coin and that's in chinese what did that say anyway okay so this does it so okay so yeah that that's also crap not worth the time watching, no information. All the coin minters might be worth more than five cents, worth millions. Rubbish. Yeah, so we are getting the same channel, bullshit channel. So pretty much this is what they are. Giving false information, getting people's hopes up. So I hope this helps you with your coin collecting. Uh, hopefully the sound works this time. Don't be fooled by channels like this. Thank you and goodbye.